In this video, we're going to be doing a long-term review of the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro Mark II headphones. So the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro Mark IIs cost around 130 Australian dollars. Sometimes you can manage to get them for cheaper for around $100. And for that price, you get a very good pair of headphones. These headphones, while yes, they are fully made out of plastic, the plastic is super durable and I will get more into that a bit later. But the build quality is good and the design of these headphones is nice and simple and minimalistic and just suits the general aesthetic of a studio environment. These headphones have a coiled cable, which in my opinion is quite annoying. And these headphones don't have a easily replaceable cable. You have to actually unsolder the cable. So that is very annoying in my opinion. And that's one of the downsides of these headphones because for a similar price, you can get something from Audio Technica and they have easily replaceable cables. Just you unplug it straight from the headphone, which is a lot easier and very nice. And I would really have liked it if these headphones had that, but it's not a deal breaker for me. One thing that I really like about these headphones is that they cancel out a lot of the noise around you. Once you put them on, it really seals your ears into the listening experience and you don't really hear any noise around you really. And that makes it really good if you're in a noisy environment and you just need to hear the sound. Also, the comfort on these headphones has been really good over the two years that I've been using them. They just feel very nice on the head. Now, for the first week or two, they did feel a bit too tight on my head, but after that first two weeks, they felt phenomenal and the comfort is really, really good. I've used these headphones for several hours at a time and they feel very comfortable throughout the whole day. Now, the sound on these headphones is very, very nice. It has a very flat tone to it, not too much bass, not too much mids and not too much highs. They're just a really balanced pair of headphones and they're my go-tos if I wanna hear what a song really sounds like. Because majority of headphones out there have a pretty unbalanced sound curve. Usually they have very heavy bass or a heavy high or heavy mids. They're not really flat, but these are really good and very flat. And of course, if you do want a bit more bass in them, you can just add bass in Windows settings. So how have they held up over the two years that I've owned them? Well, the padding and all that is still completely intact. There's basically nothing wrong with these headphones at all. Cosmetically, they look fine as well. Obviously, there's a few scratches here and there because I have dropped them several times, but that just shows this plastic is super durable and there's no cracks and the padding is all in perfect condition. So I'm very happy with that. And also one thing with these headphones is that it's very easy to take the padding off and give it a wash. Just take it off and the top part also comes off. Unlike some headphones where the top padding can't be taken off. And this also means if the padding does start to wear out, you can easily buy a replacement set from Sennheiser's website. So for 100 to 150 Australian dollars, which is usually the price range you'll see these for, these headphones are phenomenal. I've had them for two years and they sound great, they feel great on you, and they're very, very reliable. I've seen reviews out there where these things can last decades, and usually the main reason people got rid of these was actually because they cracked them or something like that, not because the actual drivers broke. So if you want a reliable pair of headphones that doesn't break the bank, these are a phenomenal pair of headphones with great sound quality. So thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like on the video, and remember to subscribe for more videos like this.